It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I'm up early in the morning. The birds are chirping. The sun is shining. The sky is blue. It's a beautiful day in South Florida. We'll be at Trevor Bryan versus Daniel Dubois later on. Stay tuned for all content on that, as well as live fight reactions uh, on that fight and the Edgar Belonga fight from Pops. It's gonna be a bit busy day here on True School Sports, so it should, should be a lot of fun. But uh, I wanted to give my thoughts on the fight that took place last night uh, in the light flower division between the WBA and Ring Magazine lineal champion Hiroto Kayaguchi and uh, Esteban Bermudez down there in Mexico. Very good fight. Just, just a really, really great fight. Um, you know, Bermudez is a guy that if you want to stereotype fighters based on styles and ethnicities, uh, he definitely had the, 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 the stereotypical Mexican style. I mean, not, not the real Mexican style, but the stereotypical Mex Mexican style boxing. You know, leaky defense, flat footed, willing to give up two shots to land one, you know, that type of a fighter. Uh, as, 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 as they would say in Spanish, they say, Guerrero, warrior, you know. Um, early on, right, early on, Hiroto Kayaguchi, like first three rounds, did a great job establishing the jab, did a great job. Um, early on, he, he kept doing this thing where he would slip, he would, he would be um, orthodox, but he would slip to his left and then he would land the uppercut routinely. Slip to his left, land the uppercut routinely. And this, this started from like the first round. Uh, that... Uh, he was landing. A, he was working behind a very consistent jab, mixing in the right hand, and uh, he got up to a really flying start. First three rounds, right? And then um, I would say, like towards like rounds four and five, that's when Bermuda kind of kind of started to turn the fight in his favor, because then he got to a point where Kaiguchi couldn't control <clears throat> the. He wasn't the ring general no more. Uh, Bermuda has closed the gap so much on him. Because even in the rounds that Kayaguchi was winning, he was landing some really good left hooks to the body, right hands to the stomach. Um, he was able to get those feet to stop moving of um, Kayaguchi, and he got him to fight. And, and it looked like in the middle rounds that uh, he was going to turn the fight all the way in his favor, uh, Bermudez. Right? And he was. Um, until, of course, you know, there was a head clash in the middle rounds that opened up a big gash in the, uh, at the top of his head. And... Um, you know, this is always a tough thing for a fighter when you when you when you start losing blood because the more blood you lose, the more fatigued you get. And Bermudez, um, to his credit, he fought through that. I actually thought some of his best rounds were after the head clash. You know, uh, he, he he seemed to zone in on really getting Kaiguchi to, to 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 not move and make him fight. And you saw him constantly over and over again going to that body and I think he was starting to take some gas out of the tank of Kayaguchi now don't mind you Kayaguchi's from Japan he's on the road it's very difficult to go on the road especially to a place like Mexico and defend the belt against a Mexican contender challenger you know challenger contender whatever and you know mind you uh there were two instances in the middle rounds and one towards the later rounds one 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 instance in the middle round one towards later rounds uh, of the fight where you had Kayaguchi lose a point um, you know, for for head for, for the for the intentional headbutts, he was leading a lot with his head, which caused a head clash, and it, it really um that that's what that's what began to hurt Kaiguchi was it was were the headbutts, and um, he lost two points, you know, and it really looked like you know towards that you know seventh round he had a point taken away the seventh, the seventh round was where he had a second point deduction. So it really, it really looked like going into the eighth round that Bermudez was very much in the fight, um, with the with the head clashes and stuff and the point deductions. You know, it could have been an even fight. Maybe you have Bermudez up by a point. Maybe you have Kaguchi up by a point, depending depending on how you score the fight. But um, overall, this fight really, to me, I think it, it, it showed a lot of character from Kaguchi. You know, we knew he was talented. We knew. Um, we, we knew he was a good fighter, a, a really good fighter, a world championship fighter. But this fight was one of those examples where maybe when you look vulnerable, when a fighter looks vulnerable and he hasn't really been tested to that degree before, um, you get a, you get an answer and you get a, a deep look into who he is in his soul, 
And sometimes those are the fights that, that fighters need to really take them, take them to that next level. Um, so in the eighth round, Kayaguchi had a decision to make. He was either A, going to attempt to do what got him the lead early on in the fight and get on his back foot, um, you know, start jabbing him and stuff. Or B, he was going to get him out of there because in the, in the seventh round, uh, he had Kayaguchi hurt. But uh, the second point deduction, my bad, was not for a head clash. It was for a uh, punch in the back of the head. He had started he had started hitting him right and on the way down uh the last punch of his combination he threw a right hand that landed on the back of the head of kaiguchi uh of uh, bermudas i should say kaiguchi so um when you just get a point deducted and you've already had one deducted and this guy's not going anywhere it seems like and he's you know he, he's always liable to get that second win with the hometown mexican crowd behind him you have to make a decision You're either going to go for the gusto and try to end the fight and not leave it up to controversy and the judges or you're going to have to, or you're going to box and, and see what happens for the mayor. He didn't do that. He, he took the first. He did not leave it in the judge's hands. He absolutely went in there and he started teeing off on him the minute he could in the, in the eighth, eighth round. And he got him out of there. And I just think it was a, a great showing from Kaiguchi. Because, uh, uh, like I said, this, this fight, for, for a lesser fighter and a lesser man as far as character is concerned, this fight would have went differently being on the road being thousands of miles away from home in a country you don't even speak English in, okay? And he, he found a way to win. And I think that's the mark of a true champion when, when, when things don't go to plan and maybe you don't even perform at your best, can you still find a way to win? And he did that. So much respect, much respect for Kayaguchi. There's still a lot of, of great fights to be made in the life flyweight division. You know, you, you got um, Jonathan Gonzalez who's fighting um, this Filipino fighter whose name I can't remember right now, but the guy he's fighting is really good and people are giving him a chance. Uh, and in July, he has WBO, WBO belt. Gonzalez, the only Puerto Rican world champion. You got him. You got Ken Shiro, fresh off his win against uh, in the rematch, avenging his loss against Masamichi Yabuki. He's a WBC champion. And uh, I forgot who the other champion is right now. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm making a more concerted effort to like cover this weight class more because it is underrated. It is slept on. Like my boy Ray OK said in the live yesterday, it is a slept on weight class. So we're definitely gonna cover the light flyweight division more. Great fight last night. Bermudez deserves credit for staying in there and, and making it a great fight. And I, I would love to see these guys do a rematch. It was that great of a fight. That th This fight was so good that if Kayaguchi couldn't get a unification fight next and this was a rematch, I would be over the moon. I would be happy about it. That's how good this fight was. You know what I'm saying? So a lot, um, great fight. Um, best part of the fight was after the fight. Uh, Kayaguchi felt bad and felt remorse for the punches to the back of the head and the, and the head clashes. So he actually went over to uh, Bermudez in the corner. He got on his knees and he apologized to him. I don't know how if they understood what he was saying because he only speaks Japanese. And he gave this guy a big hug. And both guys had probably one of the warmest embraces I've ever seen after a fight like that. It was just overall, it was a fight where like I wasn't really looking the most forward to it because again, like I, this, these guys have flown under my radar. But it was a fight that turned out to be beautiful it was a beautiful night of boxing honestly beautiful night of boxing from both men i'm a fan of both you know um and yeah that's what it is uh kai gucci in the in the in the interview had a very funny moment where you know he don't speak no english but he knew how to say viva mexico and he said viva mexico and it's on the mexican fans heard what he said so it was a uh, just a great fight if you didn't see it if you have the zone i would highly advise you go rewatch this fight because uh, this actually was uh, one of the best fights of the year. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Got a long day ahead of me, so stay tuned for all the content on Dubois versus uh, Trevor Bryan, and watch out for the lives from Pops, and uh, keep supporting the channel. And uh, you guys have a great morning. So yeah, like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button, and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.